Hey everybody, guess who's back? Indigo Priestess. Okay, you saw the topic um, Yamaya, um, goddess of the ocean. So basically, you know, if, if you, like I said before, if you're at a place where you feel you need to learn more and, you know, something's not working out in your life, you can great, gain great knowledge through working with these amazing beings. Um, as I said before, I'm going to be teaching a lot more in the future and I'm not one of those YouTubers that like to babble away and waste time. So I'm going to just jump right fucking into it. Okay. So, um, basically, you know, if you want to work with Yamaya, it's really important that I mention these few things that I've learned myself from Yamaya and that you can learn yourself and basically just, you know, knowledge is power. So... Um, Yamaya can definitely assist when it comes to beauty. If you feel you are lacking in certain areas, having a commitment with her, getting to know her, I do believe that that comes with the territory. And um, she can definitely assist you with that if you're doing a spell working. Um, obviously, you know, there are certain traditions and certain ways that you need to go about this before you work with this amazing being. Um, but she assists you in um gaining more beauty you know with wealth as well um if you are in a toxic relationship you know and it's a relationship that can be saved uh, she can definitely assist you with that obtaining purity uh, cleansings you know if you need to cleanse your home she can assist you with that too you know uh, yamaya's day is saturday so for those of you who don't know, her day is Saturday. So if um, me personally, if I want to do a working, um, you know, I will do it on a Saturday because that's her day. But everybody's different. You can do it on other days if you wish, but that's my preference. Okay, her number is seven. Um, so take notice if you work with, with, with her or, you know, the other lowers, you can also um, get certain signs. They will give you signs. You will see certain numbers from my personal experience. You know, that's them telling you that it, they hear you. Okay, they're getting ready to assist you in your situation. It's really powerful. Um, it's really an amazing experience. Okay, she, she loves watermelons. So if you want to put an altar up for her, once you've done certain... Um, you know, procedures, you can do your watermelon um, on her altar, seashells, basically anything that is an element of the ocean, of the sea, um, you can put it on her altar. You know, she is very protective of her followers and her children. Um, there's a lot more about this amazing being. And um, as the weeks go by and the months, I will definitely shoot more videos um, as well. And as well of the um, ancient beings, um, uh, man-made, you know, the which man calls demons. I will make a lot more videos on that. The key is to not limit yourself. It's of utmost importance that you do not limit yourself when it comes to working with beings. Um, I will um, say, you know, before you work with, um, with this amazing being, I encourage you to just research um, a little more and learn a bit more about Santeria Osha and um, your Haruba, um, Yoruba tradition before you dive into this um, because there are certain uh, structures you want to stick to because these beings, they, they do like a bit more of there's a particular structure that you have to follow when you work with them. And that's okay. If you are hungry for knowledge and to learn more and to grow, you're going to respect that that is how those beings want things to be done. So yeah, I will encourage you guys to learn a bit more. Um, don't be afraid. There's actually fucking nothing to be afraid of. Um, do approach them with extreme respect. It's a lot more strict um, in terms of how you go about in um you know working with these amazing beings so if you have any questions please feel free to just email me in the description box i have my um email address or you can email my partner damon doc um as well so guys have an awesome day yes i know i am shooting one video after the other but that's because i really want to teach and i'm trying to maximize my time i love you guys stay blessed Stop this fearful bullshit of indoctrination. Cut it out of your lives and just move forward. Keep your thoughts positively because thoughts create. Ciao, ciao.